Rabbits, we a lie. Blue bag, got the badges everywhere. Man, nasty, y'all. This thing crazy, y'all. Oh, sh boy. This do something different to you, y'all. It's got barbers everywhere in it. Steering wheel in here, crazy. Dirty, though, it's done been. James Bond. Y'all can see this Bentley. Cool. Luxury, y'all. Told y'all I'm gonna get me one of these. Grill on the Mustang. What's going on, fam? It's your boy Al. Y'all tune back with them Jennings boys, man. And we back with another video for y'all. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing with that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell, man. Like this video, man. Let's keep running these numbers on up, man. It's Man High Monday, so y'all already know, man. We looking for cars to whip. We looking for cars to flip. And we looking for cars to review, man. And we just now pulled up to the Manheim here. We're trying to find us a nice little parking spot so we ain't got to drive forever. They done moved everything around, y'all. No parking zones everywhere. Buddy, here, you must work here, buddy, with the no limit. What's it called? The fuck it edition. The fuck it edition, uh, 300. But yeah, we up here at the uh, Mannheim. Uh, I really didn't look through the run list, though. The one main car I seen that I really want to see up here, they got a 2024 G Wagon Brabus. Is that how y'all say it? Brabus. And uh, it's specced up, it looked crazy. So I can't wait to go in here and see that. We're gonna do a full review on that one. And uh, yeah, it's a couple, couple other cars in here too. We'll see what else is in here. So make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Now you gotta get the 36 in. He said the grandpa mobile. I'll take one of these in a heartbeat. I'll make this my daily though, you feel me? It's something to hop in. This one only got 8,000 miles on it. Kind of interior you got. Black and tear. 8,000 miles though, this thing is pretty beat down. Pretty dirty. It's like it's set outside with the windows down or something. Like, 8,000 miles, it should not look like this on the inside. It's probably a rental or something. Nah, rental would have more miles on it though. He said, hell no, nah, give me that V8. It's got the VVT in it. Did that say 3.6 on the back or? 2. It's a 2 LT. So they make a VVT 2.0. You want the 3.6. I don't buy no 2 liters or no turbos in these Cadillacs because they be fucking up. These got bad transmissions in them though. Like the most G. Huh? The Tremec 6 speed. I don't know. I just know they bad. Everyone I done got into so many at the auctions and they be bad. I'll let y'all know this one go for y'all. We're going to see what else they got up here. Porsche right here. This one fucking nasty. It's a barber's. Why well, got barber's wheels on it? It's crazy. It's a red top on it. It's a matte white. It's locked. It's matte white. It's crazy. Got the red top. It's got a red dash in the two. I ain't seen them with the red dash before. You said what? That motherfucking nasty. Got this Rari right here. It's Rari nasty. Expensive brakes. McLaren. The natural in it. Oh, this one open up. This is dirty though. This one been ran in. This one most definitely done been ran in before. It's dirty. That's that little bit of rain from last night. 
Got my shit looking crazy too. Steering wheel in here crazy. 448 Spider. Crazy. Got the shifters in the middle. <laughs> Let's see what else they so y'all can see this Bentley coupe didn't sell. It's still here from last week, man. This thing nasty. Let me give y'all a look at it again. I swear these things nasty, man. I'm I'm kinda sold on one of these, like I don't wanna get one like it's just luxury, y'all. Told y'all I'm gonna give me one of these. I'm not a fan of these Raptor R's at all. I remember the Raptors first came out. Everybody was on a Raptor, Raptor, Raptor. <laughs> you fuck with them? The R. Yeah, the R, cool. It's twin turbo. But I'm still getting a TRX truck over a Ford. I'm really a Chevy man. These ones kind of plain to me. They too much like the regular ones. You feel me? Like they ain't nothing di really, ain't nothing really too different about them except for like a couple little pieces on them. Think like this and the hood. But other than that, man, they like the same thing. For more money. Yeah, it's really like a 150 with a little. This one probably ain't even gonna sell. We're gonna see what this one sells for, y'all. Another CT6. This one all wheel drive blue. This one look way cleaner already with 30,000 more miles. This one most definitely cleaner. I don't think I've seen one with this interior before. I kind of like this interior. It's different. I don't know what this is. I ain't never seen this. This color. It's like not gray, not tan. Keys in it. Okay. Low fuel. Under the hood. Bam. I see it got the roof in it. Got the roof in it. This one clean. I would drive these as a daily. I want a white one though with the black interior with the peanut butter interior. How different that motor look? Let's see what the motor look like, y'all. Nah, see this got the bigger. This the twin, this the twin 3.0 twin. So they got this motor, which is a 3.0, or no, this one is the, do it say it on the back? Yeah, two, no, this is three, yeah. 3.0 twin turbo. Then they got the, that 2.0 VV tech, and they got the regular 3.6. I think the 3.6 has got the least amount of issues, though. Yeah. That's the one I would go with. Them turbos, man, when they, they good when they, when they good, but when they start messing up and you out of warranty, better get ready to pay out that pocket. We gonna see what that one go for compared to that other one. I bet you that one sells, and the, and the first one was a no sell. I bet. Got this Type R right here. Why I say mugging? Type R. Oh yeah, Mugen. That's the. Yeah, it's like the AMG of Honda. Ah, for real? Yep. 2019, 44,000 miles. Of course, these all come with the same interior. Black and red in the front, and black in the back. Why only black in the back? I don't know. They got cheap. This tail light's like $1,200, brand new. Damn. Type R. Hold on, so if you got this, if you got this Mugen one, you said, you can't even, you gotta order these from Japan? Yeah, or you gotta find a distributor that got them here. And you said they're expensive for no reason. Just say, what's so different about them? They look the same. Uh, these are like sequential, but everybody got sequential. But right. it's just the fact that it's a Muga and they made it in Japan. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. And you can flex on somebody if you got them made up. You already popped the hood on this one? Nah, not yet. Do you got different anything because it's Muga? Uh, different? Uh, it, might, it might have a drop in the turbo. You always got a sunroof? No. Okay, I couldn't remember. 
Oh, you got some shit on here. It's this motherfucker will slide. So it'll slide. Yeah, sir. Yeah, my bad on this camera, y'all. But I put this new lens on here and it's acting weird. Yeah, this will definitely slide. This one's probably gonna sell. Just because it's a Mugen. It's got everything already on Yeah. It. Ready to go. Nishi motor in the food. Yeah, these these are run down the scat pack in the heartbeat. Alright. It's that right there. Big ass truck. I done found the most reliable car here, y'all. I'm sure this motherfucker will take you anywhere. Oh, and it only got 155 on it. Yeah, she ready to go anywhere. Most reliable car here. The door don't even latch. You gotta hold it. Huh? 3,000 or best off. Go pick it up. Shit, I give him 500 for this motherfucker. And I bet you it'll start right up. Is it dead? It's dead, damn. It's pretty clean except for the outside. Yeah, these oh, yeah. the most reliable cars. It only got 155,000. That's only halfway through his life. <clears throat> you could put 300 on these, easy. <clears throat> especially, if take, especially if you take care of them. This was parked outside, but taking care of the inside. So, it probably was barely drove, just parked outside. Yeah, okay. it's it's dirty like halfway, in there. It's like halfway clean, halfway dirty. Halfway clean, halfway. Yeah. That's some motherfucker I've been through. It. Plastic seemed good. It just was outside. Somebody like they done did some, put some couple new hoses on it and stuff. That's mm -hmm. real for sure, best cars you can get these old hondas boy i done had a couple of them it's two door g these two door jeeps be looking good put some new tires on that mug it'll be hard on they ain't got a sticker on it i don't think it's for sale got this clean porsche truck right here this one ain't got no sticker on it either just the cleanest owner what is this, uh, Kayan, I think? Yeah, Kayan S. Or no, I do got a sticker on it. 2,800,000 miles. Super clean. Roof in it. I wonder what these are going for. I ain't too familiar with these Porsches. Besides the 911s. The only ones I'll be paying attention to is the 911s. That one clean, I got the rack on top. It's got one little scuff over here. What motors do these got in them? Hood already popped for us. No, you tell me about it. I don't know nothing about these. Oh, 4.8 V8. This motherfucker probably got some little snatch on it. Keys in there. It's got a V8, 4.8. Ain't no key, dog. I would have already started him. <laughs> yeah, if I see a key in here, I'm starting it. Cause you rarely see any keys in any of the cars here. That's why I can't wait till we get back to the OG man. How we can hit that track? We ain't hit that track in so long, y'all. We'll be back to it here soon. It's cold there right now. We're gonna wait till it warm up there, and we're gonna be back on that track, y'all. We're gonna see what else they got. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all go like this video too, man. I heard bringing y'all this car content. I see a vet over there. I see a couple vets. Who wants to go down this aisle though? Um, this what bro got. He just ain't got this. This uh, he got the generation before this. This one must be from Texas. So 2021. 16,000 miles. They probably want some money for this thing. This one got the red interior. They don't change much on the inside. It's really the outside that's like the inside of uh, autos look damn near just like this. I like this color though. Yeah, autos look just like this. Only thing different is his screen don't stick up like this. It sits back like in, inside of the dash kind of. But the seats and everything else basically the same. Only thing that look different is these back tail lights. Ah, uh, 
I forget the difference. He's coming 250, 300, 350. <sighs> so I forget the differences. All right, John, we got one of my favorites here. Buick LaCrosse. This one is a 2015, 85,000 miles. Let's see if it got the Ecotec. If it got the Ecotec, it's worthless. Inside is rough. Inside is rough, y'all. It's not like the keys is in here. She running rough, too. Check engine light on. She definitely got the VVT in it, I can tell. I can hear how it sounds. She got the roof in her, but anytime I see a car with a Mountain Dew, especially Mountain Dew, Coke might get a might get a pass. One time I see a can in the, in the, in the it's just like a thing to me that say, get out the car. It's like a bad luck thing to me. Tent ripping off. Yeah, whenever I see a can in the, in the cup holder, that means don't buy. Just one of my things. I got the VVT in it. This thing just rough around the edges, y'all. You don't still see what it go for. Somebody has some music in here or something. <sighs> yeah, the wrong. You see somebody has some music in it. I mean, they was driving this motherfucker. That mean you probably don't want it. You know what I'm saying? They probably done beat the trunk down. All of that. Matter of fact, let's check the trunk and see what it look like in the trunk. See if they done messed anything up in the trunk, man. Ah, uh, yeah, they had something going on in here, y'all. Floor all ripped, uh, folded up. Wires coming out. They has. Yeah, this thing beat up. This, th when you see a car like this, this one gonna probably be a no sell unless it just sell for super cheap. But we shall see. I'm gonna put the price right here, y'all. This is what it went for right here. And if I could guess, I'm gonna say no sell or probably like. How many miles I have? That might bring the price back. I'm gonna say no sell. The miles, the miles saying like 14, 15 thousand, but but if it was clean. But we're gonna see. Let's see what else they got. Trailblazer SS. Oh, no, it's the SS. Six liters. Good. 393 horsepower. So this is 6.0 LS in here. Why they take the badges off the sides? Or is they just on the back back on these? Nah, they on the side, usually on the sides too. Yeah, they done debadged it. 2007. Yeah, motherfuckers used to want these when they was when they first came out. I did. The keys in it. It's dead though. No, it ain't. Fire right up. Sound good. Trailblazer SS. Stinking here. She got the uh, she got the roof in her. These ain't worth much no more though. Sure, Blazer SS. Smell like she's been sitting. I'll let y'all know what this one go for. How many miles? 145, that ain't too bad. It just need cleaned up. It just needs a little tender love and care. You put some little new pieces on here, put some new headlights on here, tail lights. Probably wrap him or something. She wouldn't look half as bad. Fender a little, somebody done hit something right here. Fender a little off right there, it's a gap right there. That's that stuff. Well, look at this Mustang. They, they put a grill on the Mustang. They done literally put a grill on the Mustang, y'all. Grill on the Mustang. This thing ugly. 2017, 95,000 miles. Dirty as hell. Hey, that's one difference from down here and up back up back at home. They be washing the hell out of the cars back at home. They be keeping them clean. Down here, ain't nobody in here washing nothing. It's just dirty. 
Yeah. Back at the Manheims in the Midwest, they wash all the cars before the auction, man. Because they want to sell the cars. The more cars they sell, the more money the auction make. Down here, they don't care. They don't wash them, they don't clean them. And you can't drive them, they don't leave the keys in them. I mean, if you really want to, if you was really serious about checking a car, you can go get one of the workers and, uh, get one of the workers and have them get the keys out the lock boxes and start it up and that's to be really interested in the car though. What they got over here? That looks slammed or something, don't you? Buddy got this shit around the tree. Yeah, Buddy. Buddy worked too many hours. He worked too many hours and hit some shit. <coughs> this look like a nightmare right here if you buy this. Inoperable. Clearance too low. This back door huge. It's that big back seat, John. It's that executive. This thing look beat down though. For us. What's the PDK mean, y'all? PDK. I wonder what that means. This ain't even got no sticker on it. Blood on them, this yeah. shit and shotgun shells. You said what? Blood and shotgun shells. Blood and shotgun shells. Shotgun shells on the seat. Blood on them. Uh, he had a standoff with the police. Man, wreck this motherfucker. That's what that looked like. Is it bullet holes in this motherfucker? I don't see no bullet holes. Out of the window open over on this side. Ah, oh, yeah. They got a new Cadillac Lyric in here, y'all. I remember we seen one of these at the U.S. Open before they came out. It's a Lyric 430E. Somebody got this and probably did not like it at all. Traded it in. Let's see if it's unlocked. I'm only gonna open this thing up, y'all. Seems like it's locked. That sucks. It's a lyric. Wonder what this gonna sell for. Let's see what else they got in here, y'all. Look at this wide body kit on this Mustang. See, extra thick. It just, I don't know. I don't like this wide body kit. I like wide body kits, but I just don't like how this one looks. What I hate about wide body kits is the rivets. I hate the rivet look. That's just me. He got the fat wheels on here. He got the super body kit on this motherfucker. He got the interior done too. Damn. What'd it say? 2023. Mustang GT wide body kit, Tesla big screen, 1500 watt system, three piece forge, wide body speakers, up, air ride, suspension, all kind of stuff on here, y'all. Hey, this one's gonna be a no sale, you know why? Because they probably got a high ass reserve on here. Definitely want to get in the inside, see what the inside look like. Oh, and it's convertible. It's the kit throwing me off so bad, I couldn't even. Damn, it's locked. Other side locked. Yeah. I don't fucking want to see this, y'all. Look, the interior like it's done. It do got a big ass Tesla screen in it too. That side locked too. You see it? Damn. Can't even get the gas tank open. There we go. Definitely gonna let you pulling up in this at the car meet. Yeah, this one. This one is a hold on. 2023. I mean, they just built this. 2023, 700 miles. I probably mean somebody a dealership or somebody got this car and built it like this, and then 
couldn't sell it because <laughs> nobody want this shit and they probably want too much money for it so yeah it's probably gonna be a no sale i'll let y'all know right here at the bottom but it's most likely gonna be a no sale got a bronco y'all here a clean bronco this one is the badlands i think i like the badlands i think most of the badlands come with the uh leather interior see this is the best interior i've never seen in one i think this is the uh leather up front just like that uh that fabric vinyl so it really ain't nah i feel like bullshit up here too oh so that's, that's all around it yeah but see i would i would get the i would just get the interior redone yeah, this is something crazy. crazy you hear me white with the all red interior beating I mean, boy that'd be crazy though they got the keys in this one this one brand new i got that new car scent only thing i hate about these is these little ass motors they got in them. Like if you get one, you damn near want to get the the wrapper, so you got some kind of motor to push the big ass wheels you gonna put on it. Cause you, once you put some big wheels on this, it's like a big ass. It can't get out of its own way. You feel me? I don't even. This is sound like a little ass motor. Hear it? Yeah, see, that's the boost. only downfall on these. They don't come with no big motors. You gonna see eagle boots? This one got the hard top. No, that's like a soft top. I popped it. It's popped. He's straight though. I like to put my own touch on one of these though. Let's see what the motor look like, huh? See the Raptors come with. I have to look it up. See what what the Raptors come with. Just got a little baby turbo down here. Shit, imagine putting them once you put them big ass wheels on here, man. It's like the cover missing off of this one, ain't it? Yeah. Or am I tripping? Nah, I took it off. See, usually, y'all, this is a new car. All the new cars be having covers on there. Let's check the back out, y'all. I never open the back up on these. It's a hard time. Mm -mm -mm. It's in the way I can't get it out. Somebody had a dog or a cat or something in this mug. It's all kind of hair back here, like a gold retriever. They gonna want some money. This one definitely got a reserve on it, y'all. So if I'm guessing, it's probably gonna be a no sale. But if it do got a price, it'll be right here, y'all. Got an older Porsche over here, y'all. This is like a 2006 or a 2000. Let's see, it's 2007, y'all. 2007, 69,000 miles. It's a Porsche Cayman. So it's not a 911, it's a Cayman. It's from Greco Automotive Group. Automatic, hold on y'all, this camera doing some crazy stuff. My bad, y'all. Interior pretty clean. Keys is in this one. So we're gonna start him up. 2007, 69,000 miles. Body pretty clean. Oh shit! The keys is in here. Let's see if we got. Let's see what we got here, y'all. Oh, this is a manual too. I didn't even peek. Let's drop that clutch in. Turn that music off for sure. PSM failure flat tire. PSM failure flat tire. Check engine light on. That sound too bad. Let's see what the motor looks like on this thing, y'all. It's here pretty clean. It smell like it's been sitting. You can tell when these cars have been sitting. I have an exhaust smell. Yeah, and it's a five speed manual, y'all. Yeah, this old school. Let's see what kind of let's see what the motor look like. If I can find where to pop the motherfucking motor at. Hold on y'all, give me a second.
I ain't about to fuck with this shit. Sorry, right here. Are you right? I'll just wait for you to come back, buddy. Ooh. It's okay, you only done two ways. That's what you need. Oh, so, uh, so. yeah, the motor in the back on these, ain't it? <laughs> motor is on the back. Can't see it anyways. That's where you put the oil in and the... It's that wind. Oil and what? Washer fluid? What the fuck is that blue one? Safety inspection. See y'all? That's why y'all don't buy them old, old foreign cars. Fuck around, buy one, get a good deal on it. Soon something break. You then we gotta spend more on, on fixing than what you paid for. We're gonna see what this go for though, y'all. Stay tuned. This big ass truck she came past in. The way it pulled up then it was looking like a TRX from far away, but it's definitely not a TRX. This thing beat down. Look at the leather on here. Ashy. This thing been out in the sun, y'all. So one thing about these Florida cars, they got sun damage. They ain't got no salt, but they do definitely got probably gonna have some sun damage, especially if it ain't garage kit. So just cause you in a good place don't mean you can't ain't got a garage to keep your car. They got some old Benzes right here. Ready to go. 92,000 miles, man. This old Saturn. She sound loud. This is a GM car. What motor this got in the what kind of four cylinder this motor got in it? Where the hood at? Right, they got the pink pinstripe on it though, y'all. White, white wheel with the pink stripe on it. That must sound a little loud. Sound like the pulleys though. Sound like the pool on the pulley's about to give out. Look at that, that is. Probably still got some life in it though, y'all. Oh, Saturn. They don't even make Saturns no more. Yeah, it's a 98. 92,000 miles. Somebody had a fender bender right here, y'all. Fender bender right here. Got a CT6 right here, a black one. 91,000 miles. This one black on black, y'all. This one locked. Why everything locked? Damn. That's an Alpina right there. But it might be a little like an Alpina. It got an Alpina kit on it. It's got the wheels on there. It's got the wheels on there. Jump. I had one of these doors unlocked. I think it's in the middle. There you go. Jump. Yeah, it's a B7. Jump. I ain't gonna lie, this is the worst car I ever had, y'all. I ain't had a B7, I just had the regular 7 series, but. Every time I see one of these, I have nightmares. PTSD. Only thing I remember about the having a Beamer is being at the dealership and in the service center <laughs> every week. My motor looked like this, but it just didn't look as big, I don't think. No, it did look this big. And it was twin turbo. Yeah, I remember. It just didn't say Alpina on it. What's that? What's Alpina? It's tuning. I think it's like a like a like a how to be in this AMG or oh, yeah. maybe I don't know. Let's look that up. Or a company that came and tuned the car and put their kit on it in. Like the Callahan or the Rapids or the Magnuson or whatever it's called. Let's see what that go for. Got an A7 over here too. I know this A7. These cars raggedy too. This one's supercharged. Supercharged A705,000 miles. Oh, smell good in here. Let's see if she starts up. Start it up. A7. 
105,000 miles on it. It's got a roof in it. These was that, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody wanted one of these Audis when they came out. Whoa. It sound pretty good, y'all. Got that supercharger on it. This one sound pretty good, y'all. Let's pop this hood. Check out under this hood. Yeah, everybody wanted one of these. It was the headlights for me. I ain't gonna lie. For me, it was the headlights. And the tail light was cool, but it was really the headlights on these. I was I was in high school when these came out. I think Audi was the first one with them like LED looking lights. Oh, that's a V6 though. V6 supercharged. What liter is this? Oh no. Let's see y'all. Know what leader is. Damn. I'll let y'all know what that one go for. Price would be right here. Right, we got a few vets over here, y'all. Matter of fact, we're gonna make this the thumbnail. Right here. Damn, I might just take a picture for the thumbnail. So give me one second, y'all. Yeah, we got a 50th anniversary C6. So if it's a 50, it's got to be like a 2003 then, don't it? If it's a 50th. No, 2013, my bad. I said 2003, I was 10 years off. It's pretty clean, only got 7,000 miles on it. It's a manual though. Oh. It's the best way. It's the best way for you. I want a motherfucking automatic. It's a six speed manual. Uh, I think she dead, y'all. Well, it say no five detected. Of course, they don't got the keys in the Corvette. So I done jumped in here for nothing, y'all. Let's pop this hood. Boy, lift it up. Clean. clean, clean. Stay right there. LS7, boy. Snatch this motherfucker right up out of here and put it in some. Put it in the vert. <laughs> see if that go for another But now the yellow C8. Wonder, this that same one, ain't it? Yeah. That's Oh yeah, yellow with the red. For some reason, I don't like that combo. Keys in this one. Ooh. We done been in some C8s. Right What's that sound? I don't like the I don't like the yellow with the red, man. It's like a Ronald McDonald car right here, y'all. Ronald McDonald car. And it ain't sold, so they must have a crazy reserve on them. Convertible hard top though, 2003. So only got 4,000 miles on it. Let's see what else he got in here. Oh, oh! I let you know what this one go for. RS, you can tell it's an Audi or a Beamer or something or some kind of phone got that tick to it. Crazy sound, tick tick. Look pretty clean though. 2019, 34,000 miles. Pretty clean, though. Interior clean. This kind of reminds me of that Bentley interior with these red rings in it. Smell good in here. It's got the nice cockpit in it. I done drove one of these at the other man behind before. My bad, y'all been zoomed in this whole time on y'all. Damn camera got a mind of its own sometimes. Smell good in here. Got the roof in her. I drive one of these for a hot second, 34,000 miles. C6 
see what else they got. Twenty thirteen C five, fifty five thousand miles. This one clean too. Fifty five thousand miles low. Well I guess not for twenty thirteen it ain't. More than that here. Shit had the same one. It's a grand sport too. made that one different. That one had an LS7 in it. See, this one got an LS3. It's crazy because they didn't look just the same. When they start supercharging these? I don't know. Hopefully they start supercharging them until the Z06s is in. This ain't a Z06. It's a Grand Sport. Got an M3, y'all. Uh, looks like it's been wrecked. It's definitely with side swiped or something. That's probably why it's here at the auction. 38,000 miles, 2018. It's got like a little, they come like this, there's like a little body kit on there. Just sucks that it's wrecked on the other side. It's got this dangerous interior, this light interior. Let's see, M3. Keys in it or not? Ah! Left myself with the seat though. No key in this one, y'all. She claimed no. What motor do you got in? We learning some stuff, y'all. M power. Like we know what that means. I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> like we know what that means. Just say M power. You gotta Google this one, y'all. I'll let y'all know what it go for. This charger looked it pretty clean until I got over here on this side and the whole mirror off. It's got a 5.7 Hemi in it. RT. Low miles though. 2006, 74,000 miles. You own too much CDs with that low miles on them. Interior. A little rough around the edges. Missing the Dodge symbol. That does it for me, y'all. It's missing the symbol out the middle. Keys. Key not in it. No sunroof. Dash. Like it's been. Yeah, somebody tried to install this radio in. Fuck the dash up. Got the dash all crazy. Yeah, somebody definitely didn't install this. This was a, this was a backyard job right there. This wire wants to be tucked and it's supposed to be sticking out somewhere where you really can't see it at. Damn. I'm curious to see what this one go for. It's probably gonna sell because it got low miles on the child, so how let y'all know put the price right here. I wasn't even talking about this. I'm talking about that barber's over there, however you said. Ferrari. 2013, 22,000 miles. That one locked. They got it locked, y'all. Um, since that's locked, that's a Taken. Taken. I like that color. Look at this, though. It might not do it because it's locked, but. James Bond. James Bond on the head. <laughs> C43 AMG. Damn, look at this baby right here. That's what I was talking about. I'll see what's going on. We got the Brabus. How you say it, cuz? They got the carbon fiber. Brabus. Brabus. Wheel lock. Rabbit's white too. I love the white with the black. This thing look crazy. Hopefully it's unlocked. Let me show y'all the whole car first. Rabbit's blue bag. Got the badges everywhere. Badges everywhere. Carbon fiber hood. This thing nasty, y'all. 
crazy nasty. So 2024. Yes, it's unlocked. Oh my Lord Jesus. Oh my Lord. This thing crazy, y'all. It's got the Tiffany color leather in it. I don't even want to sit on it, y'all. Crazy. Oh, sh boy. This do something different to you, y'all. I wonder what they want for this. I want one of these. Look at the roof. Roof even sway. This thing crazy, y'all. It's got barbers everywhere in it. Back look like crazy. This airy female's dream right here. Wheels on it, the kit, the lights. I'll definitely take one of these, y'all. I don't know if I'll buy one of these, but I definitely want to take uh, uh, rent one of these or something and drive it one day to see what it's like. The old ones drive like tanks, so I'm curious to see what these new ones. It's a 2024. I'm curious to see what the new ones, what the new ones drive like this generation right here. This thing is nasty, y'all. It's got the seats in it. Crazy nasty. Make sure y'all stay tuned. This one probably gonna be a no sale, but it might sell because it's just a, it's a rare car. But they might want too much money for it. I don't know. We shall see. Here go the motor, y'all. Motor look normal though. <laughs> Nothing special. I think this motherfucking motor should be like blue to match the interior. Big B's though, y'all. Y'all see it, Big B. Crazy. Yeah, I remember everybody wanted one of these when they first came out. First, it was the Grand Prix with the yeah. GT GTPs. Then these came out. This one got 215 on it. Somebody went into driving. The Grand Prix? Yeah, yup. Yeah. But they was V6. V6 is Damn. Beat down, beat down. We just want to see the motor. Oh. We just want to see the motor, but. Oh, no, that ain't even it. This it right here, y'all. Interior beat down. No roof in it. Look like they was trying to do stars in the ceiling or something. Like they started and never finished or something. There she go right there. Big V8. It didn't beep when I opened the door up, so I doubt it. Big V8. 2009. 215 on What V8 is this, though? This is GM, so what did, what? It's the LS7, LS3, LS. It's gotta be a. We're gonna look that up for y'all. Yeah, I don't think the key's in it. Ain't no tags on here, so we don't know nothing. Yeah, ain't no key in here. No key in here. 